Hi, today's topic is reading and writing RFIDs or radio frequency identification with the ESP32. There are many implementation and today I just focus on one module that's used the NXP chip MFRC522 and that using the technology with a frequency of 13 0.56 megahertz and when the module transmit the signal the energy is enough to power up a chip maybe in a RFID card and the chip transmit back some data that's stored in the card and this is my setup for today I'm using the ESP32 development board and connect the VCC or 3.3 volts to the module then the ground and then the SPI bus the MOSI line the MISO the clock and the client select line and additionally we also use the GPIO pin 22 for reset and for debugging I also use the UART converter on GPIO pin 1 and 3 and not the onboard chip like in this picture and today analoglamp.com also sponsors two giveaways even ESP development boards or modules you find more information in the description down below and today I'm using the Arduino IDE so I start up the Arduino IDE and the first thing I open the library manager and search for a RFID library and I using this one from Miguel Balboa and other contributors and also their example files with just a few small changes. Let's start with the dump info example file and I just change the GPIO pins to the reset pin goes to GPIO pin 22 and the client select or slave select pin goes to pin 5 and I'm just speed up the serial output a little bit. So before we flash our Arduino sketch to the ESP32 just check some environment parameters. I'm using the port TTY USB 0 and a higher speed to transfer the data to the ESP32 but you can use the highest setup you like and my board is the ESP32 development board and if we have checked all our parameters we can just press the upload button to compile our sketch and transfer it to the ESP32 on my board I have to press the flash and reset button but on the most newer boards that is not necessary anymore. Now let's open the serial monitor with the right bout rate for our ESP32 and let's watch the output. Immediately after holding the card to the reader and writer we can see the data output in our serial monitor. And we try some other cards and it's just the same even if the card is in a plastic holder. And just to confirm the data that is read it, I install a Android app for my smartphone from NXP and I also can read the RFID cards with the same info just like the ESP32. Now let's also write some data to the RFID cards and I'm using the writing example from the library and to prepare I also upload the sketch after compiling to the ESP32 and then we can write some data to the RFID cards. So I just wait to the upload to be finished. 
then I press the reset button and then we can have a look at the code. So now I also changed the GPIO pins, the serial port baud rate and also only the, the code that is written to the card in the block number two. So I take a card and just hold it briefly to the module and then we see the writing is successful and also the new data is read it from the card. And we can also confirm the writing to the card with our smartphone and read app from NXP. So if we looked at the second block, we see the personal data we have written to the RFID card. So this is just playing around with the RFID and the basic setup. There's many more we can discover with RFID, maybe like security and encryption and other frequencies, different modules, different cards, different key fobs and many more. So thanks for watching today and I hope you enjoy the video and learn something and find this interesting. So so have a nice day and bye bye.